Hi guys, this is a video from Crypto Data. In today's episode, I will explain you a little bit more about the functionalities of the key one. Let's take the regular phone calls. Let's take let's take the phone app and I will explain you how it works. Basically, on a normal phone, on the on a normal smartphone, on a normal device, you have a contacts and phone app. A normal. Okay, I have a contact, John, with a phone number, with an email and everything. With the key one though, it's a little bit different because we have two types of contacts. We have the regular number contacts, as you know them by now, and we have the blockchain contacts. This means the, uh, the regular app is split into the phone book, the contacts agenda is split into regular and blockchain. Basically, if I click on the left side, I have the normal contact. If I click on the right side, I have the blockchain ones. Let's put it this way. Let's add a friend of mine. I just add a new contact. It's called, let's say, test. I have a normal number. It's test, a regular, a friend of mine. Most likely, you know all, all these things. But if I switch to the right side, I have the blockchain contact. Let's add a blockchain contact as well. I will add Ovidium 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a previously created user. The catch is like this. It's Ovidium 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the, let's say, short character encryption of the blockchain ID. But where? It's at Wisp. It's not an email. Do not try at wisp.com. That's something. No, it's not that dot. Wisp is the blockchain voice over blockchain communication protocol. Wisp is the graphical user interface for our voice over blockchain protocol. This means Ovidio12345 is the user ID at Wisp voice over blockchain protocol. Now I want to add it to the contact. I create a new contact and it's called Ovidio Test. Right now, you see in a contact, I only have test, correct? Because test is a regular phone number. But if I go back and I check the voice of a blockchain contact, I also have only one contact and that's a video test. Because a video test is not a normal contact and test is not a voice of a blockchain contact. So basically, we're speaking about a voice over blockchain phone book agenda. We're speaking about a normal smartphone agenda. There's two types in the same time. What can I do more? I can call a friend of mine. That's normal. I can set up a business card. Let's do so. I set up my profile, for example. To set up my profile, my public card, this is Ovidio Toma. The email address, Ovidio at test.com. The identity, my identity is Ovidio, one, two, three, four, five. Organization is Wisp, the voice of our blockchain protocol. I update it. As soon as I update my public card, this is my business card, I can show it to somebody else. Now I have test and Ovidio. I have two contacts, one voice of our blockchain, one normal. For the normal one, I won't insist too much because it's crystal clear how it works to send a message, to call a normal person over a normal mobile phone operator. Though, for the voice of a blockchain, it's a little bit different. I can call, send messages, or send media over blockchain. How do I do that? Simply, I have to go to Wisp. Wisp, as I previously said, is the voice of a blockchain um, user interface. Blockchain usually is a code, okay? Voice of a blockchain in user interface looks like an app. It's an app on our K1. Nobody else can have it, nobody else can download it. It's not a downloadable app or a compatible app to, on a third-party device. It's only on the K1. Only the K1 having the private key connected can access the Voice of a blockchain protocol. Let's go to Wisp. I am asked for permissions. First of all, I have to log in to my ID. If I don't have a private key connected, the device won't work. 
if I have the private key connected that I previously uh, configured, I can connect. One of my other, uh, one of my the IDs I, I created before was of video one, two, three, four, five. Organization, as I previously said, is WISP. I try to log in. Now I am asked for the password, the password I previously defined in the vault. When I created the identity, I had to define a password in a vault. That is the password I need to use with the private key as well to access my voice over blockchain identity. The device will register on blockchain. Registration complete. Now, let's suppose I want to talk to one of my friends. For example, now I'm connected with Ovidio12345 and I want to talk to, let's add a new contact, for example, Ovidio, it was test Ovidio as far as I remember, at Wisp, add the contact, test live. So, now that I just added my other device, let's see how we contact the device. I have to go to Wisp, to the interface of the voice over blockchain. I go to plus, and guess what? I have one contact in the agenda, and this contact is on over blockchain. So I can type that. In the same room, I have the other device that most likely will reply me if it gets the message. So, who is the recipient of the co this conversation? It's Ovidio test and test uh, Ovidio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is, this is the two persons in this call, in this conversation. I can, for example, send a multimedia. I can send a picture that's received. I can send a picture to the other device. I can send a image, audio, video file. So everything works as the user interface is friendly. The user interface is as you most likely are already used in the past years with some other apps. The thing is how the uh, device connects to another. Rather than going to a centralized server, rather than going to a third party company, it goes in a blockchain and from the blockchain it goes to the other device. The principle, the simplified principle of the voice of a blockchain. Let's try to call another device. If I try to call the other device, I can do it. I'm calling the other device, I can do it as a video call or as a regular call. Super. So, with to recap. Wisp is the voice of a blockchain uh, app, is the voice of a blockchain graphical user interface where you con can contact others over blockchain. Sending files, uh, initiating calls, sending messaging or initiating video calls. All of them is possible. The contacts app is split in two sides. The regular ones over regular carrier, over regular cell GSM or the voice over blockchain side. With some other cool features of uh, security, I would let you explore here all of them. This is all for the moment. Thanks for watching this episode. Cheers.